Thank you. That concludes topical questions. The next item of business is consideration of business motion 13760 in the name of Jamie Hepburn on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau setting out a timetable for the stage three consideration of the Circular Economy Scotland Jillian. Bill. Any member who wishes to speak to the motion should press their request to speak button now. And I call on Jamie Hepburn to move the motion. Move, President Officer. Thank you, Minister. No member has asked to speak to the motion. Therefore, the question is that motion 13760 be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yeah. The motion is therefore agreed. The next item of business is Stage 3 Proceedings on the Circular Economy Scotland Bill. In dealing with the amendments, members should have the Bill as amended at Stage 2, that is Scottish Parliament Bill 31A, the marshalled list and the groupings of amendments. The division bell will sound and proceedings will be suspended for around five minutes for the first division of the Stage 3. The period of voting for the First Division will be 45 seconds, and thereafter I will allow a voting period of one minute for the First Division after a debate. Members who wish to speak in the debate on any group of amendments should press their request to speak buttons or enter RTS in the chat as soon as possible after I call the group. Members should now refer to the marshalled list of amendments. And we move to Group 1, Purpose of Circular Economy. And I call Amendment 38 in the name of Maurice Golden in a group on its own. Maurice Golden to speak to and move Amendment 38. Thank you, President Officer. I'd like to move Amendment 38, which creates a single definition of the circular economy for all stakeholders, reducing confusion and greenwashing. And it's important that we define what the circular economy is. The Purpose Clause does this. And clarification is particularly important, not least because before us we have a circular economy bill which, as drafted, will not deliver a circular economy. This is a waste and littering bill currently, although I do think this and other amendments to be considered today can improve it and get it closer to achieving a circular economy in Scotland. Thank you. I call Sarah Boyack. Thank you, Presiding Officer. I very much welcome Amendment 38 in the name of Maurice Golden. The amendment is very similar to the amendment I lodged at Stage 2, but at that point did not receive enough support. I also welcome the language used in this amendment to reflect goods, products and materials, issue I was pushing at Stage 2. By having a purpose section in the bill, it will help provide clarity on what we want a circular economy to look like in Scotland. This will help to ensure that the strategy and targets that will be created as a result of this bill will be coherent. And it also sends a signal to industry and consumers so that everybody can consider their actions and behaviours and think about what they can change to make sure that goods, products and materials that they can keep in use for longer. Not just talking about the waste hierarchy, but getting on and managing our waste in line with it. And a purpose section would also send a signal to the wider public sector. Local authorities are now taking decisions every day on managing their waste services now. So setting out the purpose of a circular economy here in Scotland will help them make the right focused decisions for the long term to make sure we progress towards a circular economy for the long term. This bill is called the Circular Economy Bill. We need to make sure it's not just a recycling bill, and this purpose amendment would be incredibly helpful in delivering on the title of this bill. So I encourage members across the chamber to support Amendment 38. Thank you. Minister. President Officer, as I said, oh, good start. start proceedings. Thank you, President Officer. As I said during stage two consideration of the bill, while I understand the sentiments very much behind Amendment 38, I can't support it. In the first place, the amendment claims to set out a purpose for the whole of this bill, but in reality it attempts to describe a circular economy and as a result its legal effect is limited and uncertain. Specifically, Amendment 38 refers to just transition principles under Section 35 of the Climate Change Scotland Act 2009, a reference to which was included in the bill as amended at Stage 2 as one of the many issues Ministers must have to regard 
to in preparing the circular economy strategy. And the majority of other issues within Mr Golden's purpose clause are already included within section 1, subsection 3 of the bill or will be discussed later during this session as part of the amendments in relation to the circular economy strategy. And this will include additions to section 1, subsection 3 to recognise due diligence in relation to environmental protection and human rights, managing waste within Scotland and amendments to section 1, subsection 4 to consider wider environmental impact in identifying particular sectors and systems, which I will be happy to support. Those changes to the Bill will have direct legal effect and will allow Parliament to hold Ministers to account for the content of the strategy itself, which will provide the overall framework for wider policy in this area. But in contrast, Amendment 38 is not linked to the substantive sections of the Bill, nor does it impose any duties or obligations, so it would have no legal effect. And I believe it would be unhelpful to have a purpose provision which did not reflect the legal effect of the Bill's sections on the strategy and targets as they will be amended. The term circular economy only only appears in sections 1 to 7 of the Bill, and the remaining sections of the Bill mostly amend other legislation. I will. Graeme Simpson. Thank the Minister for taking the intervention. I am somewhat confused by her approach to this. Does she not accept that if we are having a circular economy Bill, we at least ought to know what is meant by circular economy? And that is what, what, what this amendment does. It sets out what a circular economy is. So is she against having a purpose, or is she just against what Maurice Golden's version of a purpose is? Mr. So there is actually no international definition of circular economy, and including one in the bill risks terminology becoming outdated. Now, knowing Maurice Golden as I do, the chances that there might be an international definition of circular economy might be something that Maurice Golden ends up doing, but for the moment, there's not a recognised definition of circular economy. So the Scottish Government's view... No, no, I want to get to the end of this section. In short, the Scottish Government's view is that the amendment doesn't work legally and would not add value to what's already in the Bill, and on that basis I can't support it. I call Maurice Golden to wind up and press or withdraw Amendment 38. Uh, thanks, President Officer. Conscious of the many amendments to be disposed of today, and I'd like to move... A press. The question is that Amendment 38 be agreed to. Are we all agreed? The Parliament is not agreed and there will be a division. And as this is the first division of the stage, I suspend for around five minutes to allow members to access the voting system. <laughs>